right, guys. We have an exciting morning at KLD. Remember the schoolie that I showed you guys before the new year? Super excited. Um, they have really like taken a deep dive into the framing. This client is, uh, they own an engineering firm in Austin. And so they are very good at figuring out all the utilities and framing and things like that. Might be nice if y'all could see me. So the drywaller just showed up at our house. He's gonna start mudding the ceiling. We, the internal conflict in our family was resolved. We have decided not to go with an orange peel ceiling to match the existing walls, but instead to go ahead with what we want and do the smooth ceiling and then we'll change the orange peel walls someday to smooth. So there's the update, decision made. Thank y'all all for the feedback. Everyone hands down said smooth texture. On to the next thing. This cute family of six is renovating a schoolie to go on the road for X amount of time, not sure, across the country and do homeschool. They are uh, Taylor and Dave Nichols. They own Nichols Engineering here in Austin. So super smart couple, super creative. Love, 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 love them as human beings and professionals. But they have done a lot of work over the break uh, with starting to run utilities and framing and things like that. So we are gonna go check it out. I cannot wait to show it to you. There's a lot to do. The first decision to make this morning is uh, the exterior paint colors for the bus. And I've created a brand for them that we'll share at some point, but it's gonna be really exciting and it's gonna be a colorful, playful bus. bathroom like it's all it's like here isn't all the it, things we needed isn't it funny how you can do something on paper over yeah. and over and over even by yourself like i noodled you noodled dave yeah. noodled and then it's like just getting in the space in what 45 minutes yep. 35 yep. minutes we just, just crushed feeling it. it out because really how you are going to function in here and move in here and what your body does naturally i think it's so important to realize in little spaces you know because you can think you can force yourself to move a certain way but you have a natural flow in every single space you walk into and i think we really found it yes oh, yeah. so really quick you guys the the challenge of here was like the bathroom design so yes. we went round and round but now dave you're standing in your awesome new big shower yeah show th show us how we're gonna get head height you're, this is dave nichols idea and taylor so this goes on the roof and i get an extra six or seven inches put the shower head in the top of the skylight and then i actually can stand and not <laughs> yeah because how tall are you six two six two taller than me yeah <laughs> yeah an actual foot taller than taylor it's awesome an actual foot and so that's going to gain you a ton of space and we then gain storage space that we don't have a wall now in the middle of the window that was one of the big issues we were looking at here was this having a wall come up in the middle of the window because mm -hmm. from the exterior then we have a problem so we've now fixed that problem we've Shelf. got storage underneath here we've got storage back here that can be beautiful because basically what we did is you have a you have a, a, a laundry, like laundry, hamper laundry hamper hamper here. here for storage yeah and you don't need the full depth of that above so uh, right here at this counter height level basically we're mm -hmm. capturing the back of this space and this giving it cubby to or... the bathroom yeah and then that way we don't have a, a wall hand, like a lot of the challenge of the bus is like landing on mullions too. Mm -hmm. So now the back of the cabinet will be here. That space is given to the bathroom. Awesome. I think it's a killer design. Go team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's going to be pretty. It is going to be yeah, pretty at some point yeah. soon. Back here, the bed's going to end. You know, uh -huh. I think there's like six or eight inches, the measurements are in there, but there's like gonna be this and that to finish out. Do we want wood? Do we want, what, what kind of textures do we want back there? And then how do we do that in a way that's functional? On the wall. Uh -huh. I like the idea of some closure on it, I think, even if it's sliding just so it uh -huh. looks like a headboard-ish more, or a, you know, like there's some finish to it. Yes, yeah. cool. So definitely LVT flooring, because that'll be the most flexible. Thin, thin, flexible, and flexible, durable. Uh -huh. And I do like that idea. You pull a piece out, you can put it back in. It's not that big of a deal. Yes. It's it, not tongue and groove connected to something. And like you said, the, the thickness of this takes, so we can't afford to lose any right. bit of height in that room. And then um, the last thing, the ceiling. I think so far right now, the birch plywood is probably the best way to go. It's either that or we've done like an aluminum you know, mm -hmm. matte white, um, which can also I'm be really nice. I'm into that. 
Um, that way you don't have so many wood tones, unless you want to walk in and feel like this is a very like Scandinavian woodsy, not woodsy, that's not the right word. We're not walking like, into Ikea. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think no, I'm no. worried about it being floor to ceiling wood, feeling like too much wood. So uh -huh. I have a tendency to say, could we change texture and color on the ceiling without breaking it up too much and it being very smooth? Like, I don't like all the tongue and groove stuff. I feel like that breaks up too much. It doesn't look as clean and crisp lines. as I want. Mm -hmm. And I like that idea of something very smooth, very sleek. Um, so white, like a white aluminum matte finish uh -huh. would give you the sense of a drywall. Okay, yeah. Ceiling. Okay. You've done it and it looks really nice. It okay. keeps it feeling like. If the joints, how are, you just band that with the mm -hmm. same aluminum? Yep. Okay, just basically glue Sand it on. It. Yep, kind of like a. I mean, like a, the yeah, notion of an edge banding, but on yeah. the seam, okay. seam band. Sweet. That's that's a thought. I mean, I, I it's it's one of those things where like if you want to walk in and you feel like you're in um, a wood, you know, right. cave thing, then you go with the birch. Right. If you want to go in and you feel like oh, this is a, a little bit lifting up. White. White. Okay. So I, I think that nails down ceiling. That do you want white? So I'm hearing you yes. say white. Yeah. Yes. I think ceiling is white. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? Oh. I wonder. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, how much fun was that? So, what did y'all think about the school bus? It's pretty epic, isn't it? Um, we had a great time this morning, and really, they made a lot of progress. Um, I know it didn't look like there were a lot of walls framed or anything, but honestly, there won't be a lot of walls. But figuring out that bathroom solution was a really big, really big deal. So, after we figured out the bathroom layout, and we were able to get everything that both Dave and Taylor wanted. You know, Dave is really tall. He's six foot six. And in order to get him standing clearance for a shower head in there and decent size, we needed to add in a skylight. And we're gonna run the shower head faucet up into the skylight so it gives him plenty of clearance. So I feel like we were able to accomplish a bathroom that, want, that has everything that the, both of them want and room to bathe children. Very important. Now from there, we really moved into um, the front of the bus where we're gonna have sofas, two sofas opposite on e either side. But these sofas not only need to function for comfort, they need to be a place where the children, their four children can do homeschool every day where we need to have a table where we can eat meals. You know, they need, this, this area has a lot um, to live up to. It has to be comfortable, it has to be really functional. So we're looking at designing a sofa slash uh, dining table bench that will be really convertible by nature. I'm excited that um, Dave and Taylor both have, you know, they have this incredible engineering background. <laughs> and, um, and so they're able to really help conceptualize. I mean, part of the hardest, the hardest part about a transformative furniture is <laughs> um, the hardware and the engineering of the right hardware. So. I think we're gonna get there. We'll have to keep you posted. We uh, we got some good drawings down and now we need to take those drawings into uh, CAD. Uh, so from there, we took ourselves outside to look at the paint on the exterior of the bus. Now, <laughs> this is, um, this is where I really, I love this part, you know, going into the color. <laughs> you have good aim. <laughs> um, going into the color of the school bus and what it's going to be on the outside. <laughs> I've always said on this channel that colors create mood and there's psychology. And so we talked through those uh, things with what they want the bus to represent and the intentions and what it's representing for their family, really. And so... Uh, we also taped off where we want to do some striping. We'll have a two-tone top of the bus will be cream. The bottom m half of the bus will be a greenish color. And then we're going to run a couple of pinstripes uh, in keeping with the dimension of the side of the bus with the, uh, the rubber, uh, the, bump, the bump outs um, that will kind of keep this linear thing going. So we're looking at doing cream 
and then maybe a red pinstripe, kind of a corally red, an orange, uh, maybe a little pin of gold, pinstripe of gold, and then ending it with mostly green at the bottom. This school bus is gonna be awesome, you guys, so stick around and we'll keep showing you updates. The next steps with the school bus are gonna be uh, they're gonna start running the plumbing lines for the bathroom that we just designed and some of the utilities. The next thing will be the flooring. We're gonna use an LVT, like a kind of a luxury vinyl plank flooring. It's not necessarily what I love using, but in a situation where there needs to be flexibility in the flooring uh, for shock and for being on the road. And then the thinness of this material is a good thing because we don't want to lose any inch, any bit of head height in there. Uh, we will see you next time. And I am so, I just can't wait to like show you. The, I want to skip to the finished product of the schoolie. But I also love all these fun construction details. So stick around, you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you so much for tuning in. See you later. Just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder.